It's me Jenny and welcome to my channel so in this video I'm gonna show you how to crochet this jacket right here this is for kids size 5 to 6 years old okay so the measurement for this from the top the neck right there all the way down it is 18 inches and circumference around after button it is 30 inches 30 and this jacket has no buttonhole and as you can see this button it slide in the stitch right here okay all the stitches I use half double crochet stitch and there's total four buttons you do not um, you can add more buttons if you want but for me I um, I prefer four buttons instead of too much buttons because it's easier for my kids to put it on so the button right here the size it is half inch half an inch size if you use bigger um, bigger button it probably is going to be a little bit hard to slide in this half double crochet stitch holes okay so um, for the button um, if you're making this for boy the button is going to be at the right side of the jacket and if you're making this for girl the button is going to be at the left side of the jacket okay so this is how it looks like the yarn that I use the main color color A is Bernat Super Saver this is a medium weight number four right there and the colorway is gray rag so I use one and a half skein okay so I use up one full skein and this is the second skein and I have this much left okay so this is seven ounce or um, 426 yards so you need maybe about 650 yards to make this um, to make this jacket and for the color B the ribbing the neck the sleeve and the bottom right here I use red heart super saver it is also um, medium number four in this dusty gray colorway okay and for the crochet hook I use five millimeter or US H okay so without further ado let's start okay so we're going to start by making slip knot so this is how I normally do my slip knot twist the yarn hold it right there hook in this loop yarn over pull the yarn through and pull the tail okay so once you make your slip knot now we're going to chain 56 okay to make a chain yarn over pull the yarn through the first loop now you made the first chain yarn over pull the yarn through the loop now you made the second chain so go ahead and chain until you have total of 56 chain 5 6 okay so go ahead and finish up and I'll see you once you're done with all 56 chain okay so once you made 56 chain now we're going to start row one so for row one we're going to make 54 half double crochet stitch and we're going to start from the third chain from the crochet hook so this is the first chain one two and three so we're going to start right here so this is the first half double crochet stitch so at the next chain right here we're going to make the second half double crochet stitch okay so just go ahead and finish up 
row one, you're going to make total of 54 half double crochet. Okay, go ahead and finish up and I'll see you once you're done all the way till the end. Okay, so once you're done with row one, you made total of 54 half double crochet stitch. Now we're going to start row two. So for row two, this is the row where we're going to separate the front, the sleeve and the back. So we're going to start with chain one. This chain one does not count as stitch count. Now we're going to turn the work. So at the front right here, we're going to make 10 half double crochet stitch. So we're going to start at the first stitch right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so once you make ten half double crochet, this is for the front. Now at the next stitch right here, we're going to do increase or um, we're going to do the V stitch so for the V stitch we're going to do two half double crochet chain one and two half double crochet all in the same stitch okay so two half double crochet one two chain one and two half double crochet one and two okay so next we're going to do the sleeve for the sleeve we're going to make eight half double crochet okay starting at the next stitch one two three four five six seven eight okay so once you make eight half double crochet at the next stitch right here we're going to make the v stitch two half double crochet chain one and two half double crochet one two chain one and two half double crochet one and two okay so once you made the v stitch right here now we're going to crochet the back we're going to make total of 15 half double crochet so setting right here the next stitch one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen okay so once you made fifteen half double crochet at the next stitch right here we're going to do the v stitch two half double crochet chain one and two two half double crochet all in the same stitch one two half double crochet chain one and two half double crochet one and two Okay, so we're done with the back part of the sweater now we're going to do the sleeve we're going to make eight half double crochet stitch one two three four five six seven eight okay so once you made eight half double crochet at the next stitch right here we're going to do the v stitch two half double crochet one two chain one and two half double crochet one and two so next we are going to crochet hit the front right here we're going to make nine half double crochet starting this stitch right here one Two, 
seven, eight, and lastly, nine. Okay, so once you're done, row two, this is how it looks like. Front, sleeve, and the back. Okay, for row two, you should have total of 66 stitches. Okay, okay so now we're going to start row three. Row three, we're going to start with chain one. And this chain one does not count as stitch count. Now, turn the work. So we're going to start with the front right here. We're going to make 10 half double crochet stitch starting at the first stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. nine ten okay so once you made ten half double crochet so in this chain one um the vestige from the previous row row two in this chain one we're going to do the vestige which is two half double crochet chain one and two half double crochet okay right here two half double crochet chain one and two half double crochet one and two so now we're going to do the sleeve we're going to make 11 half double crochet okay so starting this this right here one two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so once you made eleven half double crochet, now we at this V stitch at this chain one, we're going to do V stitch. So two half double crochet, chain one, and two half double crochet. Once done with the V stitch right here, now we're going to crochet the back part of the sweater. We're going to make 18 half double crochet, one eight. Okay, so starting right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, so once you made 18 half double crochet, at this V stitch chain one, we're going to do the V stitch. Two half double crochet, one. Two chain one and two half double crochet one and two so now we're going to crochet the sleeve we're going to make 11 half double crochet starting right here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven okay so once you made eleven half double crochet now we at this v stitch chain one we're going to make the v stitch two half double crochet chain one and two half double crochet one Okay, so done with the V-stitch. Now we're going to crochet the front. We're going to make 12 half double crochet. Starting right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 
8, 9, 10, 11, and lastly 12. Okay, so done with row 3. For row 3, you should have total of 78 stitches. So this is how it looks like. Front, sleeve, and back. Okay, so now we're going to start row 4. Okay, so start with chain 1. Now I'm not for um, this row 4 onwards, I'm not going to do all the counting. I'm just going to give you the stitch count. So for row 4, we're going to start with chain 1, turn the work, and we're going to make 13 half double crochet for the front, and then you're going to do V stitch. For the sleeve, you're going to make 14 half double crochet, 1, 4, and then do the V stitch. Now at the back, you're going to make 21 half double crochet, then you're going to do the V stitch at this chain 1. At the sleeve, you're going to make 14 half double crochet, 1, 4, and then you're going to do the V stitch and back right here at the front you're going to make 12 half double crochet okay so go ahead and finish up and i'll see you at the end of row four okay so once you're done with row four row one two three four you should have total of 90 stitches around nine zero okay so this is how it looks like we fold it and this is how it looks like Okay, so now we're going to start row 5. So for row 5, as usual, you're going to start with chain 1, turn the work, and I'm going to give you the stitch count for row 5. I'm not going to um, crochet every stitch. So for row 5, so once you start with chain 1, you turn the work, and now the stitch count is going to be for the front right here, you're going to make 13 half double crochet, 1, 3, and V stitch at this chain 1. For the sleeve, you're going to make 17 half double crochet, 1, 7, and do the V stitch at the chain 1. So for the back, you're going to make 24 half double crochet. After you made the 24, you're going to do V stitch at this chain 1. Now at the sleeve, you're going to do the same stitch count as this sleeve right here. You're going to make 17 half double crochet. And once you're done with the sleeve, you're going to do the V stitch right here. And back to the front, you're going to make 15 half double crochet. Okay, so go ahead and finish up row 5 and I'll see you once you're done. Okay, so once you've done row 5, row 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this is how it looks like. For row 5, you should have total of 102 stitches, 102, and this is how it looks like once you fold it. Okay, so now for row 6, I'm going to give you the stitch count. So, I'm going to start with chain 1 and turn the work. So for the stitch count for row 6, okay, for the front right here, you're going to make 16 half double crochet, then you're going to do the V stitch. For the sleeve, you're going to make 20 half double crochet, and then you're going to do the V stitch. For the back, you're going to make 27 half double crochet, then V stitch. For the sleeve, you're going to make 20 half double crochet. V stitch and back to the front you're going to make 15 half double crochet okay so 16 V stitch 20 V stitch 27 V stitch 20 V stitch and 15 okay so I'll go ahead and finish up row 6 and I'll see you once you're done Wrap. okay so once you're done with row 6 this is how it looks like Row 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so for row 6, you should have total of 114 stitches, 114. So now we're going to start row 7. So 
we're going to start with chain one okay so for row seven you're going to start with chain one turn the work and i'm going to give you the stitch count for row seven for row seven at the front you're going to make 16 half double crochet v stitch for the sleeve you're going to make 23 half double crochet and then v stitch for the back you're going to make 30 half double crochet three zero and then v stitch for the sleeve right here you're going to make 23 half double crochet v stitch and back to the front you're going to make 18 half double crochet okay so go ahead and finish up row seven and i'll see you once you're done okay so once you're done row seven this is how it looks like so for row seven you should have total of 126 stitches one two six okay so row one two three four five six seven so now we're going to start row eight you're going to start with chain one turn the work and for row eight i'm going to give you the stitch count so row eight you're going to start at the front right here with 19 half double crochet stitch you're going to do the v stitch next you're going to do the sleeve you're going to make 26 half double crochet and then v stitch for the back you're going to make 33 half double crochet stitch and then you're going to do v stitch sleeve right here you're going to make 26 half double crochet v stitch and at the front you're going to make 18 half double crochet okay so go ahead and finish up row eight and i'll see you once you're done okay so once you're done with row eight you should have total of 138 stitches 138 and this is how it looks like the front the sleeve and the back okay so now we're going to start row 9 row 9 we're going to separate the sleeve um, that's mean we're going to crochet the front and the back only okay so we're going to start row 9 with chain 1 and this chain 1 does not count as stitch count so now we're going to turn the work now we're going to make 20 half double crochet two zero okay starting at the first stitch right here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 20 it's going to be at this v stitch the chain one okay 20 okay so once you make 20 half double crochet now we're going to chain two one two all right so now we're going to skip the sleeve okay so this is the front this is the sleeve we are going to skip the sleeve part now we're going we're going to make 38 half double crochet and we're going to start at this v stitch right here okay as i mentioned we're going to skip this sleeve so starting at the v stitch we're going to make total 38 half double crochet okay this v stitch the chain one right here one two three four five 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nine. Oops. Nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Okay, so thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four. 35, 36, 37, and 38. 38 is at this vestige chain one. Okay, 38. Now we're going to chain two, one, two. Next, we're going to make 22 half double crochet and we're going to skip the sleeve and we're going to start right here at this chain one vestige. Okay, we're going to make 22 half double crochet. Okay, skip the sleeve and start at this V stitch chain one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, and lastly twenty-two. Okay, so done with row 9. So for row 9, you should have total of 80 stitches around. Okay, 20 half double crochet right here, 38 half double crochet at the back, and 22 half double crochet at the front. Okay, total 80 stitches. Okay, so now we're going to start row 10. So for row 10, we're going to start with chain 1, turn the work, and we're going to make 84 half double crochet stitch, starting from the first stitch all the way to the very last stitch. Okay, so um, at row 9, we have total of 80 stitches. So for row, um, row 10, you're going to do one half double crochet stitch in each stitch. And for this chain two right here, you're going to make two half double crochet. Okay, so additional um, four stitches for row 10 to make it total 84 stitches. Okay, so two half double crochet at this chain two and two half double crochet at this chain two. Okay, so okay, so go ahead and finish up row 10. Start with chain one, turn the work, and you're going to make 84 half double crochet stitch. Okay, so as I mentioned, you're going to make one half double crochet stitch in each stitch. And for this chain two right here, you're going to make two half double crochet right here and two half double crochet right here to make it total 84 stitches. Okay, so I'll go ahead and finish up row 10 and I'll see you once you're done. Okay, so once you're done row 10, this is how it looks like. Okay, so for the next 20 rows, row 11 until row 30, each row, you're going to start with chain 1 and you're going to make 84 half double crochet stitch. Okay, very easy for the next 20 row, start with chain 1, turn the work and make 84 half double crochet. So just basically you're going to make one half double crochet in each stitch from one end 
to 1n. Okay, so go ahead and finish up row 11 until row 30, and I'll see you once you're done. Okay, so once you crochet until row 30, 3, 0, this is how it looks like. Okay, so now we're going to chain 1 and cut the yarn. Okay, so now we're going to do the sleeve. So before that, I'm going to do one side of the sleeve and I'm going to show you the other side on how to crochet. Okay, so stay tuned. Okay, so I'm back and I'm done with one side of the sleeve. So the sleeve, there's only total 22 rounds. So start right here and all the way till the very last round right here it's total 22 rounds okay so slowly we're going to decrease to make it smaller at the opening right here okay so i'm going to show you how to crochet the sleeve we're going to start by making a slip knot and now we're going to start at this bottom right here it through and we're going to chain one okay this chain one does not count as stitch count so now we're going to make 35 half double crochet around okay remember chain one does not count as stitch count okay so we're going to make the first half double crochet next to the chain one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, and 35. Okay, so once you made 35 half double crochet, go ahead and slip stitch at the first half double crochet. Okay, this stitch right here. Okay, so done with round one of the sleeve. So now from round two until round five, this four round, round two, three, four, five, you're going to start with chain one and turn the work. And you're going to make 35 half double crochet. Okay, so every round after you did your slip stitch, you're going to chain one and turn the work. The reason to turn the work, so we continue the texture um, where we turn every row of the work. Okay, if you continue without turning the work, you will crochet in a round and the texture for the body and the sleeve is not going to be the same. So make sure after you slip stitch every round, you're going to chain one and turn the work and start the new round. Okay, so go ahead and finish up round two until round five. And I'll see you once you're done. Okay, so once you crochet until round five, now for round six, we're going to make two stitch decrease. 
so we're going to start with chain one and this chain one does not count as stitch count now we're going to turn the work we're going to crochet at the wrong side okay so now at the first stitch right here we're going to make one half double crochet next we're going to make one half double crochet decrease okay so for half double crochet decrease we're going to use up two stitch so to make half double crochet decrease we're going to yarn over hook in the stitch yarn over pull the yarn through the stitch now you have now you have three loops on your crochet hook now yarn over hook in the next stitch yarn over pull the yarn through now you have five loops on your crochet hook now yarn over and pull through all five loops okay so that's how you make half double crochet decrease now this is the first decrease the second decrease we're going to do it right here so now after you made the half double crochet decrease now we're going to make 29 half double crochet one in each stitch one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Okay, so once you made 29 half double crochet, you should have three stitch left. One, two, three. Okay, so next we're going to make the second half double crochet decrease in this two stitch. Okay, so lastly we're going to make one half double crochet in this very last stitch. One half double crochet. Okay, so done with round six, go ahead and slip stitch at the first stitch right here. So for round six, you should have total of 33 stitches, 33. Okay, so now for the next five round, round seven, eight, nine, ten, and round 11, um, each round you're going to start with chain one, turn the work, and you're going to make 33 half double crochet around and slip stitch okay so go ahead and finish up until round 11 and I'll see you once you're done okay so once you crochet the slip until round 11 now we're going to start round 12 and for round 12 we're going to make two decrease right here and right here okay so we're going to start the round 12 start with chain one turn the work now we're going to make one half double crochet at the first stitch now we're going to make one half double crochet decrease okay so that's the first decrease so now we're going to make 27 half double crochet one in each stitch okay so 27 half double crochet this is one two three Seven. Okay, so once you make 27 half double crochet, oops, 
you should have three stitch left one two three okay so now we're going to make the second half double crochet decrease okay so lastly at the very last stitch we're going to make one half double crochet okay so once you're done you're going to slip stitch at the first stitch okay so we're done with round 12 okay so for round 12 you should have total of 31 stitches around so now for the next two round round 13 and round 14 each round you're going to start with chain one turn the work and you're going to make 31 half double crochet around and slip stitch okay so go ahead and finish up round 13 and round 14 and I'll see you once you're done okay so once you're done with round 13 and 14 so so far this is how it looks like now we're going to start round 15 for round 15 we're going to make two stitch decrease so we're going to start with chain one turn the work now we're going to make one half double crochet in the first stitch next we're going to make the first half double crochet decrease now we're going to make 25 half double crochet one in each stitch one two Okay, so once you made 25 half double crochet you should have three stitch left one two three now we're going to make the second half double crochet decrease okay so once you're done with the decrease now at the very last stitch we're going to make one half double crochet okay so then we're going to slip stitch at the first stitch right here Okay, so for round 15, you should have total of 29 stitches around, 29 stitches. So for the next two round, round 16 and 17, each round, we're going to start with chain one, turn the work, we're going to work the wrong side, and we're going to make 29 half double crochet around and slip stitch. Okay, go ahead and finish up round 16 and 17 and I'll see you once you're done okay so once you're done with round 16 and round 17 now we're going to start round 18 and for round 18 we're going to make two stitch decrease so we're going to start with chain one turn the work and at the first stitch right here we're going to make one half double crochet next we're going to make the first half double crochet decrease okay so next we're going to make 23 half double crochet okay so one two three four five and 23 okay so once you made 23 half double crochet you should have three stitch left one two three now we're going to make the second half double crochet decrease and lastly at the very last stitch we're going to make one half double crochet okay so going to slip stitch to finish up this round okay so once you're done with round 18 you should have total of 27 stitches around okay 
so this is how it looks like okay so for the next two rounds round 19 and round 20 you're going to each round you're going to start with chain one turn the work and you're going to make 27 half double crochet around okay so go ahead and finish up and I'll see you once you're done okay so once you're done with round 19 and round 20 so far this is how it looks like so now we're going to start round 21 and round 21 is the last round for the decrease and we're going to start with chain one turn the work now we're going to start with one half double crochet in the first stitch now we're going to make one half double crochet decrease next we're going to make 21 half double crochet one in each stitch okay so this is one two Twenty, twenty, twenty-one. Okay, so once you made twenty-one half double crochet, you should have three stitch left. Now we're going to make the second half double crochet decrease. Okay, and lastly, at the very last stitch, we're going to make one half double crochet. Alright, so now slip stitch at the first stitch. So once you're done with round 21, you should have total of 25 stitches around. Okay, so once you're done round 21, now we're going to start round 22. And round 22 is the last round for the sleeve. So start with chain 1, turn the work and we're going to make 25 half double crochet stitch around okay so one half double crochet in each stitch two three four So done with round 22 go ahead and slip stitch at the first stitch chain one to secure stitches and we're going to cut the yarn okay just cut it a little bit right there okay so this is how it looks like once it's done Okay, so now we're going to do the border for the sleeve, the top, the neckline right here, and the bottom. Okay, you can use any color yarn that you want. For me, I'm going to use gray yarn. Okay, so grab your yarn. And we're going to do... The neckline right here we're going to start at the first stitch this stitch right here okay we're going to chain two one and two okay this chain two does not count as stitch count okay so now we're going to make 54 double crochet one in each stitch right here okay so this is one two three okay so once you're done making 54 double crochet so it is the same stitch count as the row where we start row one okay so for the next row for 
the leg line we're going to start with chain two one two turn the work and we're going to make front pose and back pose double crochet okay so the next stitch right here this double crochet we're going to make front pose double crochet okay so yarn over hook we go behind the stitch yarn over pull the yarn through behind the stitch and then we're going to do the regular double crochet pull two yarn over and pull two okay so next we're going to make back pose double crochet so yarn over we hook we go behind and to the front and back yarn over pull the yarn through the back now we're going to do yarn over pull two yarn over pull two okay so we're going to repeat front pose double crochet and back pose double crochet all the way till the very last stitch okay again front pose double crochet and back pose double crochet okay so go ahead and finish up and i'll see you once you're done okay so i'm at the end of row two of the neckline okay so this is how it looks like using the front pose and back pose stitch now we're going to do the last row for the neckline start with chain two one two turn the work and now we're going to start the first stitch this stitch right here with back pose double crochet okay now the second stitch we're going to do front pose double crochet and then we're going to repeat back pose and front pose okay so go ahead and finish up all the way till the very last stitch all the way here and once you reach the end um, stitch number 54 you're going to crochet on this chain two okay so go ahead and finish up until row 53 and I'm gonna show you how to finish up row um, to finish up row three okay I'll see you once you're done okay so once you reach almost the end of row three of the neckline to, um, so far I made total of 53 double crochet the front post and back post so stitch number 54 you're going to do it at this chain 2 from the previous row it's going to do the regular double crochet okay so once you're done chain 1 to secure stitches and cut the yarn okay just cut enough for you to weave in ends okay so grab your yarn make a slip knot right there and we're going to start at the first stitch right here all right we're going to chain two one and two this chain two does not count as stitch count so now we're going to make one double crochet in each stitch Okay, so just go ahead and finish up until you reach the very last stitch at the bottom right here at the end and I'll see you once you're done okay so once you're done at the end right here you may total off um, it should be the same stitch count as the last row of the main color so right here at this uh, my color B I take 84 double crochet okay same as the last row of the color a which is 84 half double crochet okay so 
for row 2 of color B for the bottom right here. Start with chain 2, 1, 2, turn the work. And we're going to make front post double crochet, back post double crochet, same as how we did at the top right here. Okay, so we're going to start this stitch right here with front post double crochet and right here back post double crochet okay we're going to do one back one front post double crochet one back post double crochet okay so just go ahead and finish up until you reach the end right here and I'll see you once you're done okay so once you're done with round two of the color B for the bottom of the jacket now we're going to start a row three start with chain two one two turn the work and now we're going to start with this stitch right here we're going to make front post double crochet and then back post double crochet front post double crochet okay you're going to repeat until you reach the very last stitch right here and we done with the ribbing part okay so just go ahead and finish up and I'll see you once you're done okay so once you're done with row 3 of color B now we're going to finish up by making chain one to secure all the stitches and now cut the yarn just cut enough for you to weave in the ends okay so this is how it looks like okay the ribbing down here and the ribbing up here so next we're going to do the sleeve okay so now we're going to do the ribbing for the sleeve so right here I already made one side of the sleeve there's total of three rounds um, I use half double crochet stitch for all three rounds um, the neck and the bottom right here I use the double crochet over here at the sleeve I use half double crochet stitch okay so I'm gonna show you how to crochet the ribbing for the sleeve. Okay, so we're going to make slip knot and we're going to start right here. We're going to start with chain one, and this chain one does not count as stitch count. So now we're going to do one half double crochet in each stitch so um for the sleeve right here we end with 25 half double crochet stitch so now we're going to make 25 half double crochet stitch as well so as i say this chain one does not count as stitch count okay so one two right here okay so now we're going to slip stitch at the first stitch so now we're going to start the ribbing where we're going to do the front post and back post half double crochet okay so we're going to chain one now we're going to make one front post half double crochet so you yarn over hook at the back of this stitch right here the first stitch now we're going to make one back post and over hook from the back to the front and back yarn over pull the yarn through yarn over and pull through all 
loop okay so we're going to continue one front post half double crochet and one back post half double crochet we're going to repeat until you reach the very last stitch the very last stitch right here should add with front post double crochet okay so go ahead and finish up and I'll see you once you're done with round round two of the ribbon okay so once you're done row two now going to slip stitch at the first stitch now we're going to do row three of the ribbon we're going to start with chain one and we're going to repeat exactly same as round two where we're going to start with front post half double crochet and back post half double crochet okay so go ahead and finish up round three this is the last round for the ribbing the cuff and once you're done go ahead and slip stitch and chain one and cut your yarn okay so okay so this is the last stitch one front post half double crochet done now slip stitch at the first stitch chain one to secure stitches and cut the yarn so I just cut enough for you to weave in the ends so this is how the cuff looks like okay, so this is how it looks like the neckline right here the bottom of the jacket and the cuff okay so the only thing you need to do right now is to sew the button you can add doesn't matter how many buttons that you want um, for me I'm going to put four buttons okay so I'm going to weave in all my ends and I'll see you once I'm done with that okay so I've sewn in all my ends the neck the bottom and the sleeve so now I'm gonna show you the placement of the buttons um, it's actually random you can put in any rows um, as I mentioned I'm going to use four buttons for this jacket so before you sew the button um, this is um, for jacket for boy if you're making this for boy the button should be at the right side of the jacket and if you make it for a girl the button should be at the left side of the jacket okay um that's just how it is um, I just googled it and <laughs> just double check make sure it's correct so boy button should be at the right side and for girl button should be at the left side um that's the reason why I do not include the buttonhole for this pattern because if you use a um, button that's small enough it will it can go through the half double crochet stitch pretty easily okay so the placement of the button as I mentioned you can put it in any rows for me I'm going to okay From row one right here, sorry, row one, I'm going to count until row six. Row one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is going to be my first button. So now I'm going to count seven rows. So um, seven rows from this first button. So row one, two, three, four, five, six, seven going to be my second buttons I'm going to count seven more rows down one two three four five six seven so right here is going to be my third buttons and another seven rows down one two three four five six seven and this is going to be button number four okay so you do not need to follow my um, measurement the row count for this button if you want to add more button for example six buttons 
you can adjust it as how you want it okay so i'm going to sew the buttons and next i'm going to show you how i mark the row right here to know where to insert the button okay so i'll sew the button to the jacket and i'll get back to you soon okay so i've sewn the button on now it is very easy to button just as long as you lined them straight together it is pretty easy if um, this jacket is too big you can button this all the way right here or you can button it right there okay it's pretty easy to figure out where to button and right there okay so there you have it okay so i do hope you find this tutorial easy to follow if you have any question leave your question at the comment section down below i will try my very best to reply give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share this video with your fellow crochet friends um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already and click on the bell notification that way you will be notified every time when i upload a video okay so you can also follow me on social media facebook and instagram okay so for now thank you so much for watching i hope you have a wonderful day take care everyone god bless and bye